offense. Arbuckle in trouble this time, almost threw that one away. First and 10 on the BC 13. Arbuckle to the end zone looking for Walker, and it is batted away by Gary Peters. Had him in his back pocket. Well, Peters, the guy who began his career in Edmonton. We're moving over to BC in free agency a couple years ago. Providing pretty good coverage on this one right in the hip pocket. Under L. Walker gets the right arm in there. Break it up. From that, it's not me adding it up. It's our stats guy. That's 100 points in the last two games. So defense got a few things to work on, and here's an interception again. Gary Peters. The defense. Offense put up 59 points. Defense for Interstan Ask for a better start here for the BC line. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the term I used. Well, he's communicating with his players extremely well. That's fires off the ball here on second and long. Masoli will check it down underneath, not where he wanted to go with the football originally. <laughs> But a good force that time, an excellent defense up front by Gary Peters, who has two interceptions on the air, and Ryan Phillips loves that. Yeah, almost like he was playing with his younger brother in the backyard. He said, get out of here. <laughs> it's like, that makes too easy, right? Just good coverage. Watch Jeremiah go, go through his progressions. And, uh, no, he wants to. Goes right back to it, but Gary was just on him. He says, get away from me. This is my territory. I love it. you got to have attitude. Play with attitude out there. To play. Nelson takes it on his own three. Given three yard kicks of beauty. Shouldn't have done that. You gotta let it go when you're standing. Clintock gets it away cleanly. Not great, but gets it away. Carter bobbles it, hauls it in at the 30. A return of about a yard, possibly two. Thompson, 22 of 31 in week two. And now he's been picked off down at the 30. Gary Peters slides underneath that one. 37 points for the Lions, and they've allowed just the. BC's got everyone deep here. Halana comes free, he's chasing Evans out of the pocket. Evans heaves it up in the air. And it is intercepted. Wow, that bounced around. Gary Peters with the interception. This is a design. Back in on the second and one. And they go with a reverse for Eugene Lewis, who throws off it into the end zone, but picked off and then popped up. Gary Peters looked like he had the interception. And then fumbled the ball, but it looks like the Lions do have the ball at their own five. They went for the reverse. And the pass for Lewis, it was broken up initially. And then broken up this way with an interception by Gary Peters. Copped up the ball, but it still belongs. Ten. Rushing four, Arbuckle scrambles to the right. Menard in hot pursuit. Arbuckle throws it and it is intercepted. Gary Peters with the interception. Ar Arbuckle had stayed turnover free, but it ends there. The Lions getting it done in all three phases tonight. This time the defense comes in. And what a difference it's made in his life. And a star with the Calgary Dinos winning a Vanier Cup in 2019 against Danny Machocha's Montreal Caravan. Favor, but there it was. And now the final play of the quarter for Jake Mayer. Out to Bagleton. Bagleton taken up. And he lunges ahead for a couple of extra yards. That was Gary Peters who was just jumped over by Kadeem <laughs> Carey. And he was having none of it. Coverage pressing our receivers, forcing him to make throws. He connects, but now can he convert on second down? Goes to the short crossing route, and the ball is out, but they will whistle. Hadel as being down as Gary Peters was chasing them all. On the toss, Oliveira. And Gary Peters coming in, steering him back inside. A short game that time by Winnipeg. Interesting move there from Drew Brown just to cut. 
that's such a tough, tough debate. I mean, there's cases to be made on both sides of it. Brown rolls out, tries to gun one in there for Bailey, but it's broken up. Yes, I'm whining on behalf of DBs everywhere. Near side. Oh, he almost oh, had it. Oh, come Gary on. Peters almost come on, had Gary. number six. Come on, Gary. I needed that right at that moment. <laughs> that would have been big. That would have been big for you right there, Glenn. <laughs> I needed this, Gary Peters. Come on. Make my point on the D in the DP department. Oh. oh. He's had a great year. Uh, TJ Lee's had a good year, too. Had a yep. pick six. He's not playing tonight. He, he'll be ready for the playoff game. Had a pick six a couple weeks. Team out there. Second and one. Stevens into the game. And he's going to decide to take a shot deep down the field. Off the helmet of the defender. And it falls incomplete. Gary Peters trailing there against Malik Henry. And it bounces off his lid. Yeah, he was trailing. And, and this is, uh, you know, a shot, a chance to get your number one guy in that one-on-one -on -one matchup with Gary Peters. And Peters, he had him. He was in behind him by a step. If that ball is way out in front and Malik Henry gets a chance to run it, run it down, he's got a chance. But it's a little short. That allows Peters' interception. That interception came in the end zone earlier tonight. Goes to the end zone. Again, trying to get the corner. He's saying he got hit in the head. No flag on the field. Gary Peters just flashes that hand, doesn't he? Where did he come from, man? I'm not even sure he saw the ball. He just kind of reached out as he.